All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin Day 1225 at the park. So, tomorrow I have to start going to school for the rest of the year. So that means I'm back to the long drive, back to the grind, and uh, it's gonna be crazy. So I got the call today. to like, yeah, you gotta come back and stuff. I go, oh man. I mean, it's gonna be pretty crazy because um, my students, it's the last week of school. So technically, you know, going for the rest of the year, it's only like five more days, right? But it's a, uh, um, it's a, uh, what do you call it? I'm so much more effective when I'm at home, right? And here's the reason why. It's not the fact that I'm lazy or I don't want to do the drive or whatever, right? But it's just the fact where my computer technology at home is tremendous. You know, so I, I when the kids need help with tutoring, like today, I helped a chick with trigger, uh, dude with trigonometry, right? So, you know, when you have to find the area of a sector of a circle, you know, I could just show my screen where I draw and then sort of draw the pictures and explain the stuff and then, you know, go to the next one and I see what they do. And yeah, right? So that's what I do. And uh, I can't do that from office because I borrow a laptop, I go on the Zoom meeting, and then I could like, I guess I could get a piece of paper and show them, go total old school tech. tech. But you know what? If you're a virtual academy, you have to have cutting edge technology, which I do. But since I am a good worker, I'm a good employee, when they ask me to do something, I do it. Do I say no? No. Can I? I don't know. It's just uh, the thing where, all right, so today, it's more of a choose your battles type deal, right? So the big picture of everything is, you know, I want to work my way up the ladder and you know, become principal someday, maybe a director, a coordinator, assistant superintendent, maybe a superintendent, who knows, right? So all I could do is just work my best, follow what their directions are, and, and do it. But when some of the things don't seem favorable for you, you're like, oh, you know, I got to drive an hour and a half each way, and gas prices are going up and well you know what I chose to get the job there so what am I gonna do I could have moved up there right I didn't but I could I mean I'll probably end up moving there okay and the thing is yeah teachers should go show up every day but we're a really extreme situation because we're a hundred percent virtual academy so even if I show up the kids aren't there because they're a hundred percent at home and so, and you know, for the summer school, they, they have these people, the people that do summer school at school, and they have summer school people that are 100% online, right? So if they're a virtual teacher for summer school, you know, it's not their real job, it's just what they do for summer, and they could stay at home. Well, what about the guy? This is my job, 100%, right? So, technically, I could fight the battle, but I choose not to, because if you put up a big stink about this thing now, right, then when I want to go for a promotion or something like that, they'll probably remember it, and they could go, you know, two ways. Most likely, it'll go sour. They'll be like, oh yeah, he's the one that didn't, you know, whatever, things special consideration. But, you know, you want to be fair because, okay, all my teaching friends out there, they're going every day, whether or not students are there. So I know, like, you know, one of my friends, his school is like, you know, over 2,000 people, but only 40 kids show up, right? So you have a lot of kids, you have a lot of teachers that are just staying there. And then so online or at school now, the, the school day in my district ends at 12.07. Starts at eight, ends at 
So I have to leave at six in the morning to get there at eight and just sit there because all year long, our virtual academy starts at 10. So technically, I just do my two hours over there and then I can go. But then I have the after school program later. I have the clubs, I have all that kind of stuff. But for this last week, I saw him, hey, focus on your stuff, get your work done. If you need my tutor help, call me at six. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, my kids will be fine. I'll be fine. It's just, do I want to drive up? No, but nobody really wants to say, hey, you know what? I want to drive three hours a day, right? So, but in the long-term thing, like next year, I already know. House to no house, I have to drive up there every day. And there's there's no like, oh, we're virtual academy. No, I know that next year, it's that's what's right, okay? So we need to find like a place where I'm gonna be like situated and then set up my stuff there and uh, figure it out. And then I'll end up working up uh, um, regular hours, like a regular teacher. It's just that my drive's gonna suck. So, you know, that's, that's, that's one thing to think about. But you know, a lot of things in life too, right? Things don't go my way. I gotta think about the big picture of stuff. Do I nitpick about the small stuff? Or do I bite the bullet? and prefer, prepare myself for when the big things happen, right? Because if I'm too busy focusing on the smaller things, then I'll never see the opportunity for the bigger things. Yeah, that's a pretty good lesson right there. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, there's a big difference on me commuting now than when I did before. Because now the difference is I meal prep for a couple days, right? So I can have those jars in my car and then when I wanna eat, crack one open, eat it. Have some water bottles in there, drink the water, and then I'm perfectly fine. So no more of this like, oh, I need to go get a soda for, well, if I do, I'll get a diet, right? Oh, I need this, I need this, no. So the food wise, I should be fine, right? And then, you know, mix in those lunches with my boss, which is fine too, right? And then also, it's gonna force me to do the whole leave early thing and uh, go to the gym early. Hey, that's not bad, right? And then so maybe for the next five days, I'm gonna go to the gym early and then after school's done, Five days meeting seven days. Monday's my last day of school. And then if it, you know, five days, and then so after that, when Tuesday comes, I'll wake up early, go to the gym, take care of that stuff, do my summer school stuff, and then I'm done. So that's why, that's how I look at it, like different things in life. What are you gonna do? You gotta, you gotta think about the, the, the positives and, uh, you know, I mean, princip principle-wise, not principal, pal, principal, like, you know, the leader of a school's principal. Principal, like, you know, your beliefs and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I could sit here and complain and nobody wins. Or I just do what I'm told until I become the man. <laughs> right? <laughs> until I become the person that makes the rules, I gotta follow the rules. All right, there you go. Big Daddy Shin, day 12.25 in the books. So, yeah, part of this is following the rules and also, well, you know, with my diet and stuff, follow the rules on that. Follow the rules on exercise, move more, eat less, and follow the rules on Gotta go to school. Gotta go to school and teach, like all the other teachers. Even though I'm different, that's fine. But 
I gotta choose my battles, okay? So I'm perfectly fine, I'm happy dude. I'm the same dude as I was yesterday. Same dude that I'm gonna be tomorrow, I think, right? And that, that's about it. So anyways, Big Daddy Shin, if I could exercise 1,225 days in a row, you could exercise 1,225 days in a row. So if I could do it, you could do it. I'm doing it. Choosing my battles.